Hi there, it's Jem Fryer here, the Wellbeing, Resilience, Health and Detox Coach. Um, so, today's topic of conversation is about intermittent fasting. Um, intermittent fasting is a really useful tool that we can work with now for, for two reasons. One, it's really good for our health, it boosts our health. Um, and two, um, we require less food in our diet. Uh, in general, in the West, we eat way too much food, much more than we need. Um, and actually learning to intermittent fast, which is reducing the time period within the day that you actually consume calories, um, will be really helpful. So essentially, the way to intermittent fast that I'm going to suggest is reducing the hours that you eat in. So that would be an eight hour window that you are looking at as a sort of maximum period for eating. And then you've got 16 hours when your body isn't eating, hasn't got to digest anything. Um, so no juices, no um, nutrients of, of any time, of, of any type at that point. Um, so you may start, you may find that, oh, you, you have to have breakfast. So you have to have breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning. So you eat from eight o'clock until four o'clock in the afternoon. Alternatively, on, you may not be bothered about eating in the morning. You may think, oh, no, I can get through till midday. So you eat at 12 o'clock your breakfast, as in breakfast. And then you finish by eight o'clock in the evening. What this means is your body has 16 hours within which to digest the food and to um, keep on top of healing and rebuilding itself. Now, when we have not eaten for 12 to 14 hours, the body goes into a process of regeneration. It starts clearing damaged cells away. It starts um, fixing damaged cells. It's, it's a process that it's hard for the body to do um, really effectively unless it has periods of non-eating. And it seems to be about 12, 14 hours before the body gets to that point. So that means that you have like at least two to four hours of the body regenerating itself. And that's really important if you want to keep up your immunity. So in that eight hours, it doesn't mean you have to try and eat three meals and stuff as much as you can in. You'll find, you know, after a few days, actually two, days, two meals is enough. You don't really need that much. Um, there'll be a little bit of adjustment perhaps, but especially if you're used to eating lots of sugary foods. But as I've mentioned before, that's a good thing to step away from. Um, and it's a pretty easy way of um, boosting your health. And also, if we end up with less food being available, um, it means your food will last much longer and everyone's food will last much longer. So it's there are two brilliant things about intermittent fasting and I encourage you to try it. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Be well, be healthy and I'll speak to you soon.